I'm making this introductory video basically to give a rationale for why I have created this YouTube channel called Exploring Pure Land Buddhism. First off, I need to make clear that I am a lay Buddhist, an upasaka. I'm not a scholar. I'm not ordained. I don't have any special credentials in the, in the Buddha Dharma. But about 40 years ago in 1979, I did become a Buddhist in the context of a generic spiritual awakening type experience. And I've got videos that describe essentially what that experience was like on my primary YouTube channel, which is called Akala Akala or A-C-A-L-A, A-C-A-L-A. -A. Well, just a few weeks ago on the basis of a request by a subscriber to my YouTube channel, I went ahead and started a podcast on a hosting site called Podbean. And that has worked out very well, except for one big fact, which is they only allow five hours total of uploads on a free basis. Now, I am very willing to kick in some dollars in order to continue my posting of podcasts on that site. But the fact of the matter is that if I ever terminate that account or discontinue paying, let's say if I become severely ill or even die, that account goes away and also all the uploads go away. And so in that sense, this YouTube channel is kind of a backup, if you will, because if I'm going to go to the effort, to be honest, uh, I want these uh, podcasts to be available to people over the course of time beyond the scope of my limited lifetime, given the fact that I'm 71 years old. Now, before closing off with this introductory video, I want to read from a description that I had created for the actual podcast on, on Podbean, where I said, While I rely on Amida Buddha's primal vow for my rebirth in the pure land in his western paradise, I continue to appreciate and engage in various activities to share the wellspring of the Pure Land Buddhist teachings, namely Mahayana or Great Vehicle Buddhism. I also have a deep respect for the earlier Pali Canon teachings that in turn led to the Mahayana. So then I go on to say that in this podcast, in this podcast called Exploring Pure Land Buddhism, I informally share my perspective, as well as that of others, on this profound and wonderful devotional path. I'll close by mentioning that this is a strictly non-monetized kind of effort on my, on my part. I do it out of love for the Buddha Dharma and a wish to turn that great Dharma wheel and to help people who have an interest in the Dharma to be exposed to it and to engage with it in whatever of its forms they happen to feel most attracted to. And so with that sincere and deep sentiment, I'll close this with saying, Namo Amida Bozo, Namo Amida Bozo, Namo Amida Bozo.